I'm Erin Conrad. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. This afternoon, a judge will look at a case involving a man accused of killing a Tulsa police officer and the body camera video of the traffic stop. A hearing is set for this afternoon in the fight over that body cam footage. Suspect David Ware's attorney wants the footage released after a judge ordered the video not be released for six months. He claims the video could refute a police report on the shooting. District Attorney Steve Koonsweiler says, quote, our ask is let's just try this case in a courtroom. Let the information coming out in a public setting as opposed to trying to air this case out in the media. David Ware is charged in the murder of Sergeant Craig Johnson and the shooting of Officer Arash Zarkashan. A downward trend in positive COVID-19 cases in Oklahoma this week. Today, the state health department reporting 168 new positive cases and one more death. 25,433 positive cases have been reported in Oklahoma since testing began. 19,750 people have now recovered from the virus. And will sports be a part of the upcoming fall semester? Today, the Oklahoma Secondary School Athletic Association, or the OSSAA, met with athletic directors and school officials at high schools all around the state. Those school officials were able to ask questions about safety practices in sports. Sterling Warren is a senior at Booker T. Washington High School, and he says he put in extra work this summer to prepare for the upcoming season. You have one focus at the end of the day, and that's to win. So, well, for me it is, and so I do like extra, extra workouts outside of practices and stuff. Working out extra and stuff like that, I would just hate for that to be like off for nothing. The OSSAA didn't vote on any measures. Today's meeting was just for schools to ask questions. And starting today, some of the nation's biggest stores are enforcing mask policies. That includes Walmart, Sam's Club, CVS and Walgreens. They say they are following guidance from health officials to protect customers' health. Other retailers have also announced an upcoming mask mandate. I'm Erin Conrad, Two Works For You.